This video provides an introduction to the Interpolate 1D Array custom device add-on for NI Veriscan. We're going to add our custom device to the System Explorer and we're going to interact with a, an Excel.csv file in Veriscan. Let's get started. So to add our custom device to our workspace, we're going to go into the System Explorer by clicking on the System Explorer button. The System Explorer will load. We can go up to our custom devices, right click on custom device, and we'll select our Interpolate 1D Array custom device. As you see here, we have inputs and outputs. The inputs are our lookup value and our load new data, and we have an error, a new data, and a return value output. What we're going to do here is we're going to add a file path to our .csv file. It can be any tab delimited file or comma delimited file. Click here. So I have, I've saved my .csv file on my desktop so it's easy to get to. Click on the file, click OK. And now our System Explorer is ready to go. So we'll save the works, or the System Explorer, excuse me. And we'll close it up. Okay. Now we're back to the home screen. Now let's take a look at our .csv file and the contents within. Up to, as you see, it's just a, a standard Excel file. Our lookup column is just a series of indices, and the results column is the actual data that we'll want to pull out. So you'll see in this column, we'll take a look at the first five. 0 through 4 are just 0, 10, 25, 30, and then back to 20 again. Let's go ahead and minimize this. All right, now let's go ahead and run our workspace. Veristan starts up. Right now it's a pretty basic workspace with a graph and a couple of indicators. Go ahead and hit the screen. I'm going to change it to edit mode. Now we can drop down controls and indicators onto our workspace. First thing I'll do is I'll create a new numeric control. Drag that in. Drop it down. Now I have the, the option to choose where I pull this from. So go here file path, go into our custom device, here's our interpolate 1D array custom device, and we'll choose the lookup value. This is basically choosing the, yeah, we'll click OK, this basically chooses that index column of our .csv file. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an indicator. So go in here, it's the same process, drag that indicator down, here, back to our custom device. This time we have the option to add outputs. We'll add our return value, and we'll click OK. And we'll click OK again. So now, these indicators, these controls and indicators are bound to that CSV file. So when I cycle through these, in the workspace, it will update the value. Right now we're still on the edit mode. So let's change it to run mode. Now when Notice that I update the lookup value, and it returns the value in the return value of the .csv file. So let's go ahead and make a change to that .csv file once. Bring this down, open this up. So now let's go ahead and change index 3 to 35. Change that to 80, actually. We'll save the file. Go ahead and minimize this of it. And run back to 3, we load the new data. Notice that the new data loaded. And when I hit the load new data button, the value changes. And notice the graph tells us when the data got changed. So this is a big add for NI Veristand is that you can change the file and update the Veristand workspace without having to restart NIV.